Now I grew up down an old dirt road in a town you wouldn't know. My pops picked the place up for 1500 bucks back in 1964. My grandfather was a drinker back in the day, he put him down. But a war is known to change a man, and the whiskey is known to change. That's not me. So we finished our trailer. Um, spent the last couple hours cleaning the outside of it. I'll just do a quick walk around and then I'll go into detail all the stuff that we had to fix on the outside of it. Um, and then do a time lapse of popping it up and then go through all the upgrades on the inside. All right, so first upgrade we had to do was the inside of this, all right? So that wall straight across, this wall here, and then the wall right below me, uh, the sister one to that, that's all a uh, marine grade mahogany with a teak overlay. We rewalled it. Um, there's no boards behind these, either of them. So totally rewalled that side, this side and the side I'm at, and then brief uh, put flooring over the top. So about halfway right about there all the way to about here underneath this is the original floor and then that end got patched this end got patched right here right here is where the water heater hit the hot water heater used to sit here so underneath it was uh it was all water damaged so i cut out a patch patched it and then i laid this uh three quarter inch OS, or half inch osb uh across the top here um, had to do it in two pieces uh, because uh, the lip is the opening is smaller than the floor so did two piece put it in there uh, caulked the outside um, we were going to floor it with the same flooring that we did on the inside of the camper but decided to just leave it like this um, i will just go through and on all these edges uh, do some caulking or liquid nail or something just to seal it up a bit so we fixed that uh, remove the sliding door that was there and then put in a new door on the inside. You'll see that in a little bit. Um, redid the wiring on this light. Light wasn't working. Um, right here used to be the water heater opening, the hot water heater opening. Um, so the hot water heater set on the outside and the door to the hot water heater uh, was not a part of the trailer. It was part of the hot water heater. So when I pulled it out, there was a big hole I had to patch. So mirroring what I did on the other side, um, I just basically patched the hole. This is that uh, PVC vinyl crap that you can get from Home Depot. Cut a piece um, to fit within the seams and stabbed it in there. And then these pieces here, trim pieces, they go around the plastic seams. So to see this seam, there was a seam that went all the way across the top, down here and across the bottom. The plastic was coming apart, so I decided I just trimmed it up like that and made both sides look the same. Um, went over, next thing, uh, sealed the top of this. This here used to be where the forced air furnace vent, uh, the hot air vent was for the exhaust for the propane. So I just, again, put another patch over there, patched it. I patched it on the outside and on the inside. Um, this is the outdoor shower, so this, when you open it up, um, I didn't clean on the inside of this, so I do apologize. But you have the outdoor shower. It does work. You pull it out, um, and then you set it up outside however you want to do it. Um, that's how we'll use, instead of having a hot, hot water system, we have that battery-operated shower system. Um, that will be our replacement for the hot water, and we could tap to the outside shower. Um, installed bubble level. Um, trailer didn't come with one everyone that i saw in the videos were putting a level on the top of the roof um, i leveled that to the chassis so it is good uh, again silicone the top of these um, this these were the vents for the propane three-way uh, fridge um, so this one i pulled it and then again like i said i put a piece of that same vinyl stuff behind it 
um, seal it up so nothing can get in there. And then here, I had to replace. Oh goodness! So there's the back of the new fridge. It just plugs into that AC outlet right there. Um, bracketed in with the teak. Um, I kept the propane line there. I just uh, capped it there, just in case I end up finding a three-way that is inexpensive. And then I had to patch the water damage there. Not too pretty of a job, but it'll work for now. And then I put uh, that ABS on the back side of it and then just popped a couple holes. That way there is some airflow into here, but not big enough that like mouse, mice and stuff like that can get in. Um, had to fix the trim there. Um, I'm gonna paint, repaint it black and then take a razor and get all the gunk and stuff that I didn't get off after it was done. Cleaned the roof, didn't do anything to the roof except for I had to caulk um, around these uh, on both sides. So we did that. On the back side, didn't have to do anything. I popped that. The spare is brand new. Again, uh, another bubble level there, leveled it, or put it uh, flush with the chassis. Um, that way it'll level pretty well. On this side, didn't do any, uh, any upgrades or anything other than clean the canvas. Uh, awning uh, just the outside bag and then this is the high pressure outdoor stove so you flip it up high pressure and then it hooks up right there and then that propane line runs to the front this is if you use the indoor shower or use the toilet or sorry the indoor shower drains out of there the toilet uh, for your septic drains into that um, that there you just pull it out dump it clean it out so that's your septic system there uh, this side there was a door here um, that opened and closed so you have access to it um, it was a really small door to begin with so it didn't really work too well um, the seal around it was messed up so I went ahead reseam this and yeah so now I'm gonna do a uh, time-lapse of popping it up Big So awning's up, first time we've ever used the awning. Um, it actually had all the poles and everything in it to uh, put it up. Uh, Bree did these, so re-laminate re it with this stone tile uh, stuff. Uh, Bree put those in, did a pretty good job. Fixed the door here, replaced the latch here. Uh, here's the main living compartment. So we got two king size beds. Here and here, um, this is your dinette. Um, that table collapses and then sits right about there. Take these two cushions here, put it in the center, and then you have a bed. I'll add a picture of that so you know what it looks like. Um, this back canvas piece, you have a piece of canvas, then you have the tinted uh, piece of vinyl, and then you have a mesh screen um, to keep bugs out. And then the ones on the side, they're just uh, screens. With the canvas there's curtains uh Bree made all the curtains sewed them up um chose those lights are battery operated uh, right now we're not on electricity because i just have it in the middle of the yard um, but it will um the new lights i put in these leds they will run off 12 volt uh, this is the shower relaminated the top so that's the shower. You, this little uh, wire thing here, you pick it up, it sits on these loops right here, and then you put your shower curtain around it. Um, your faucet or your shower head goes in there. That's your drain, that's your toilet. It's called a wet bath uh, because 
showering, you're getting the, the toilet wet and all that. I uh, replaced that door there, replaced this door. This is where the forced air furnace was sitting. Um, here's your cushions, your pillows, bring that all that. Stove top, uh, it's got three burners in it, it's a little pressure. This is where our fridge is. Um, this is a chalkboard material, so you can write on it. Uh, but that just basically hides where our new fridge goes because it's not as big as the hole and I didn't feel like rebuilding the whole cabinet. Uh, just decided to hide it for now. Um, had to do a new drawer face here, or a cabinet face here. Placed the faucet, and that's about it. And redid the tops of this. But yeah, and redid the floor and did some trim. So here is a quick shot of the entire thing. Obviously, it's not 100% fitted out at the moment because we're not camping in it. Um, we just set it up for the video and for our cookout last night. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's seven episodes long. It, took, it seems like it took forever, but because of quarantine, I mean, it just flew by. It was absolutely ridiculous how fast we were able to get this thing knocked out. So, thanks for watching. Cooking up some mushroom on the outdoor grill. And once these coals are ready, we're going to do some burgers. While fixing everything. There's a little shit birds right there. Say hi, Sarge. Say hi. Give me a pause. Sarge, give me a pause. Come on. Oh, good boy. Hey, Mr. Murph. Hey, Mr. Murph. We got mushrooms. And we got some baked beans. And then we got some burgers going. And then boys playing. Come here, Sarge. Come here, bud. Oh, yeah, good boy. Who's here? Pass, pass. A nighttime view of the camper lights. Oh, Mr. Sarge. Mr. Sarge, move. Can you get pause? Can you get pause, bud?